guys so I made a video earlier and when I went to edit it it I knocked the camera at some time during the process and basically you couldn't see anything I was doing so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of walk you through how to make the glass box jack-o-lantern this is what it looks like um, all you need is a glass craft box. You can get them at any craft store. Um, they usually have different sizes. They, I think just small and large. I bought the large one. It cost about $11.99. But I used a coupon and got 50% off. So I only spent $6 on it. Um, you're also going to need a string of lights. I used orange lights for my pumpkin. Um, this is only 70 count uh, as you can see there's still a little room so I would try to find like a hundred maybe 120 count lights um, you're also going to need felt unless you're going to be putting it outside then you're going to want to paint it however I'm doing mine for the inside and I plan on using this box for more than one project so I wanted to kind of make it to where I could just easily remove things and change things up if I wanted to um, you're also going to need scissors and hot glue the first thing you're going to do is you're going to you're going to test your lights make sure they work once you've figured out that they are working <laughs> you're going to open the top here and put them down into the glass box. Alright, once you get them all in the box, this plastic part here actually does not come cut. So what I did was I cut a slit so that I could easily put the cord through this um, over to the circle part and then that way when it's on here I can keep the plastic part on it. All right, after you do that, you're going to want to cut out whatever shape of eyes, nose, mouth you want. I freehanded all mine, but you're more than welcome to use a stencil or whatever else you want. I just went with a basic jack o' lantern with the triangle, eyes, and nose, and mouth. So once you figure that out, how you want to cut it, you want to place your things onto the glass box face down like this. Okay, the, you want to do it as if you were already putting it on there. The main reason you want to do that is to make sure that it is going to be a decent size, that it's not too small or it's not too large. Um, once you get it on there and you're happy with it, just pick up one eye, nose, or mouth at a time and hot glue it down and then move on to the next one. That way your placement stays the same and yeah and then once you get everything glued on then just take it over to wherever you want to set it plug it in and you have you a nice glass jack-o-lantern box all right and then again I'm so sorry that that video did not work out um, I would have loved to show you guys in more detail but hopefully just me talking about it kind of explains it a little bit um, stay tuned for um, my glass box scarecrow I will be making at the beginning of November. If you guys have any ideas that I can do with these craft boxes or any other crafts you would like to see me do, please leave a comment down below and I will look into doing that craft for you. Thanks guys. Bye.